Hi, my name is Varun Chandrasekhar, and I created an automatic portable four opter and autofocus glasses using an integrated variable focal liquid lens. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 61% of the world population uses visual aids to correct their vision. And annual visual aid replacements create tons of plastic waste, which ends up in the environment as microplastics. Additionally, optometrists use four opters to determine people's prescriptions, and this device has to be occasionally replaced. Visual aids are necessary to assist the eye in focusing light onto the retina to achieve clarity of vision. As the user's uh, prescription changes, new visual aids are needed to accommodate for the changing eye. My engineering goal was to create a four opter, which would automatically change lens curvature and eliminate the need for four opter replacements while using less materials. My second engineering goal was to create autofocal eyeglasses, which would adapt to the user's changing prescription needs. And this will eliminate the need for visual aid replacements. I hypothesized that my autofocal eyeglasses would improve a user's vision significantly more than conventional uh, visual aids used by the user currently. And I also hypothesized that the four opter would measure a user's prescription with an accuracy of at least 80%. So you might be wondering how this variable focal liquid lens works. So in this liquid lens, there's two liquids, water and oil, and they're separated by thin film. But as you apply more and more voltage to this film, the focal length of the lens decreases as shown here. Here's the schematic of my device. And here's my actual device. There's the lens and there's the Arduino driving the lens. So to collect data, I used Snellen's eye chart to measure participants' visual acuity or clarity of vision. And here's the uh, data I collected. And as you can see here, the lower the bar is, the higher the visual acuity. So the, vis the highest visual acuity was achieved using the autofocal eyeglasses, whereas the lowest visual acuity was achieved without the use of any visual aids. I measured the participants' average percent improvement in visual acuity using current visual aids and autofocal eyeglasses. And to measure this difference and see if it was significant or not, I performed a t-test in which I obtained a p-value, which was less than my alpha level. So this means that my data suggests with 95% confidence that the autofocal glasses did in fact improve vision significantly when compared to conventional visual aids. I also calculated that my device was able to measure people's prescriptions with an accuracy of up to 87%, which was higher than my hypothesized accuracy of 80%. In conclusion, I built a device to mimic both visual aids and four opters and eliminating the need for these replacements, which create tons of plastic waste, thus paving the way for a more sustainable future. Here are my major references and thank you for listening.